let's look at how to create a virus in Perl. Now this can be kind of important to get an idea of how you can prevent viruses and what viruses really are. It's good to kind of know what they do and kind of how they look. So let's start with um, a Linux machine and I will use Emacs. Go into use whatever editor you want. I'll do virus.pl. So a Perl program starts with the shebang right here and then you start I want to mark the beginning and end of my virus. So I'll put a couple of things here and do virus begin and down here somewhere I'll do virus and okay this is my entire virus inside of these two comments so I'm gonna do this in a couple of different steps first I'm going to uh, get a copy of the virus so I have to read myself and get a copy of myself uh, then I'm going to um, find victims, which should be other Perl programs. And I'm going to um, check to see if they're infected and infect them if they're not. Check and infect. And the last step would be an optional payload thing. If your virus is doing something. This one's not going to do anything, it's just going to spread. All right. So first I need to get a copy of myself. So my first step is to, well, put a copy of the virus on myself. I'm gonna create a list called vcode that has a copy of the virus in it. It's empty right now. And I'm going to keep track of whether or not I'm, I'm actually inside the virus as I read my own code. So my in, in virus, make that a variable. Equals zero, so it's not a virus yet. So I'm going to then open my file, and my file is going to be I'm going to do a file handle and dollar zero give me the name of my program that I'm actually running. So open that up, you know, a while loop. So while uh, each line comes in, a line. Um, grab it from the file handle. So while there's a line coming in, then I'm going to read that line in. So then I'm going to look at the line and say, well, what is it? Well, if the line happens to contain the regular expression that starts with hash marks and the virus begin line, I can have the other hashes if I want, then I know that this is the beginning of the virus. And so I wanted to mark it as being inside the virus. So in by plus equals one. Now, if I'm inside of the virus, I want to save whatever's in the virus in my vcode variable. So if in virus, and I want to save it using the push command. So I'll do push, and I'll push into V code the line. And close that. Now, if I get to the end of the virus, the virus end comment, I want to then say I'm outside of the virus and not collect anymore. So if line, check for virus end, and I don't need these, but I'll put them in anyway, then I can mark it as uh, in virus equals zero again. All right, now I have collected the virus, it's inside of decode, I should be ready to go. The next step is to, close, well, actually, let's close my next step is 
to find potential victims. So my potential victims would be anything that ends with a .pl file extension. So my files, potential files equals glob. Glob, we'll just do a directory listing type thing. Um, star.pl. So I want to find anything that ends in pl and put it into the my into the files list. All right. Now I want to go down here and check to see for each file in there. Is it infected? And if it's not infected, I want to infect it. So do for each file in our files list, we want to go through this nice long process of checking to see is it infected. And I'm going to start with it's a infected zero because we know they're not infected at first. We don't know they are. I'm going to save the code. So my P code, the program code, is this empty list. So for each one, I'm going to have a new empty list that has the code. I'm going to open the file. And my file handle, once again, is my file. And once that file open, I'm going to do that while loop thing. So while my line pulls and pull it from the file handle. So while I'm grabbing the lines, I want to check to see if the line happens to be the virus information. So if it is, so if the line happens to contain this uh, virus thing. This is virus begin. Then I know that it is my virus and I should, well, it is a, it's an infected file anyway. It might not be this one. It could be an infected file. It doesn't matter which one it is. I don't want to reinfect it. So I'll do infected equals one. So it's infected. And I'm going to break out a loop because I don't really need the rest of the file. And now I'm going to collect the file. So I'm going to push into my P code the line. So what this will do is it will start reading everything in P code until it reaches a begin or a virus begin. And if it reaches that, it will know that it's infected and it'll stop at that point and just break out. If the file is not infected, it will continue to load everything into P code until you have complete copy of the entire program. And at this point, I can close my file handle and go on. All right. So now I know if it's infected. So what do we do? If it's not infected, then we want to infect it. That would be kind of fun, right? So we want to uh, first create a list of lines. And then after we create a list of lines, the list of lines, we want to write the new list of lines. So what lines do we need? Well, we want to create this new variable, encode, that happens to be an empty list. We're doing a lot of lists. So. Okay, this empty list. Now, with this empty list, we want to check and see if the first line of the program happens to be that shebang thing we have at the beginning of every Perl program. If it is, we just want to grab it. So if the first line, so that'd be P code zero, and this is a dollar sign right here, P code zero equals, um, well, let's just check with the hash mark. That's all we care about. If it has the hash mark at the beginning, we will assume it's important and we'll keep it. Just for the first line, that's it. And so we'll do a push into our new code, end code. We want to push the last or the first line from Pika. The way we get that is a ship. Ship will pop off the first line of our P code and it will return that variable. And uh, actually, I want to 
What was that? This is in the corner here. This will grab it. Then we're going to grab the rest of the, of the virus and put the virus in there. And then after that, we're going to grab the rest of the, the P code. So for each, we don't want to do pops. We just want to grab it all. And in our V code, we just want to affect multiple ones. We want to <clears throat> push into our new code. Um, the line that we just grabbed. And now for each, we want to grab the rest of the P code, line in P code. We could pop it if we want, but I'll just do 4H because that's easier. Uh, push into our end code again. All right, at this point, we should have a complete copy of what we want to write to the file in our encode variable. Now we're gonna write it. So we open it up, open up uh, my new file handle, and we're gonna make this a write operation. And we're gonna write back the same file name, and we're gonna do a for each. We're gonna write line from encode. Each line from encode and we're just going to do a print to our file handle line. As is. And then we can close the file. And that will get the file all written out and we'll be done. At this point we are we should be infected and we can do optional payload, but we're going to skip that because we don't need to do anything. Write this out. Um, set our permissions for a virus. 755. Now, in order to see what things look like, let's create a second file, hello.pl, to make sure things work and infect properly. So do emacs w. So hello.pl. And we will create another file in Perl. And this one is just a print. Hello world. And that's it. And we're going to now make that one executable. And we'll run it. Great. We're gonna cat our hello world. Our hello world looks great. So now we're ready to try infecting. So we'll clear the screen. We'll run our virus. It ran. But did it do anything? Let's cat out our hello.pl and suddenly hello.pl's contents have changed. You can see that hello.pl is now infected. You can see this line right here, the first line, came from hello.pl, then the virus got stuck in there, and then the end of the virus came by, and then it still kept the hello world from hello.pl. So the rest of the contents are there. And that is how you create a virus in Perl.